Through the first half of the 2019 World Championship group stage, things were looking up for Europe. G2 were 3-0 and Splice were in position to advance. But Fnatic had struggled through their opening three games, leaving their hopes of making the knockout stage up in the air. Fnatic received a lot of criticism for their early performance, and it mostly stemmed from the champions Reckless was playing. One of the best AD carries that Europe has ever seen was stuck to playing non-traditional bot laners like Garen or Morgana. Well, in the second week, all of that changed as Reckless went back to comfort, but the real turnaround came from the lesser-known star named Nemesis. Sitting at 1 and 2, Fnatic's first second week matchup was the winless Clutch Gaming. Although it should have been their easiest game of the day, it turned into a near disaster. This game was the literal definition of a clown fiesta. Through all the big shoes and red noses, Nemesis and Reckless did their best to keep a sense of stability. Zio is going to secure it. Massive Baron, where the barrel is going to go. Huni hasn't been able to find one yet. Triple IE, what's it going to do for the team? Prox waiting off to the side. Kelisan going right into the back line. Fnatic now need to find a way forward. Reckless is stepping in. It's a massive engage from the side of Fnatic. Huni cannot get anything done. So much damage on the pipe. Now looking for the reset. Now has a chance to restart the pipe. Huni's going to grab one. That's the shutdown. That's one more kill. Fnatic take the Baron. Eventually, Clutch Gaming would make an incredibly questionable base race call that handed Fnatic the win on a silver platter. This is where Nemesis really started to step up for Fnatic. Most wouldn't think he'd stand a chance against a three-time world champion in Faker, but with Vagar in hand, Nemesis took over the rift. Nemesis though, now he's the one in trouble. The slow does connect. Faker willing to go right back under tower. Whoa! Nemesis! Nemesis just smashes Faker underneath the tower. They're looking for Faker. I'd say smacking Faker's a good way to turn the critics around. Faker caught in the cage. Faker knocked into the ground, six feet under. Eyes on effort next, he walks right back in, he can deny as much CC as he wants, but still, they're just taking him down, they're chipping through, they don't care about the Alistair ultimate, they want to burn him down, and they're gonna do it. The utility and damage of the Vagar helped Fnatic pull up a massive upset over SKT. And although it was a huge accomplishment, they still needed one more win to advance out of Group C. Unfortunately for Fnatic, their final opponent was RNG, the team that's had their number over the past few years. However, they had never faced RNG with Nemesis on the roster, and his effect was felt early on. Body flop, and there's the dashboard, looking for the stun, so much damage onto Ming, Hillisang picks up the kill, but it's at the cost of his life, so far trade one for one, here comes Nemesis, throws up the Miasma, trying to put the Twin Fangs onto Xiao Hu, he's burning, and he's down, now Kars is the target, he's trying to show him back, the Sonic Wave misses, Fnatic get another, and Huzi is flashing for his life. Now with an early edge, Hillisang and Broxa kept up the pressure to help Fnatic's lead grow. It wouldn't take long for Fnatic to overcome their international rival. We've seen this play on the domestic stage, working on the international one. Cannon Barrage comes down, Carter throws out the Dragon's Rage kick, but it does nothing. Raul Wolf comes in, that's an interrupt, an interrupt on Lightning. He's dead, Carter's dead, RNG are done. They will not advance to the quarterfinals for the first time ever. All three European teams make it to the knockout stage. Fnatic eliminates RNG! The European trifecta was completed as Fnatic went 3-0 on the day to advance out of groups alongside G2 and Splice. Every member of Fnatic played incredibly well on the day, but Nemesis was in the middle of it all. For his first time on the world stage, he was poised and composed as he proved to be more than just a reliable mid laner.